Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay, so we already got past Memorial Day, so you know what? Summer is right around the corner, so we're going to be having parties and get-togethers, and I'm going to give you a couple of appetizer ideas that you can serve at these gatherings. So if you want to see what I mean, keep watching. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers, and don't forget to turn on those notifications to get more videos, and you'll be the first to know every time I upload a video. So enough talking, let's get cooking. So the first appetizer I'm going to start off with is making some really delicious Asian meatballs. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with two pounds of ground beef. To help bind the meat together, I'm going to use one cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to add a half a cup of sliced green onions. I'm going to use two tablespoons of sesame oil and a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Two eggs and three tablespoons of chopped garlic. And I'm also going to make a dipping sauce for the meatballs and to make this sauce I'm going to need 2 thirds cup of hoisin sauce and 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, a fourth of a cup of rice vinegar, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, and 2 chopped garlic cloves and 1 teaspoon of ground ginger. Now in a medium bowl where you're going to have your ground beef you're just going to start adding everything like the sesame oil, the panko breadcrumbs, the ground ginger, your two eggs, your chopped garlic, and your chopped green onions. And now I'm going to take my clean hands and make sure your hands are clean and just begin mixing everything together. And now I'm ready to start making all of my meatballs and I have a ice cream scooper just to make sure that everything is around the same size so that they cook at the, at the same time and I don't like to make them too too big appetizer size like bite size meatballs so I have a cookie sheet lined up with foil and I'm just going to line up all of my meatballs on the cookie sheet. So I went ahead and preheated my oven at 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and bake them off for 12 minutes and while they're baking I'm going to go ahead and start making the dipping sauce. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to start to combine the hoisin sauce, the rice vinegar, I'm going to go ahead and add in all that chopped garlic. Now comes the soy sauce and make sure that it's low sodium so that it's not too salty. And here's the sesame oil and the ground ginger. And now I'm just going to take the whisk and begin mixing everything together. Okay, so after 12 minutes, this is what your meatballs are going to look like. And now I'm ready to dip, so I'm going to take each meatball and I'm just going to put it in the dipping sauce and make sure that it's coated and covered up really, really good. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Really simple, really, really easy to make. I like to top it off with some green onions. I think that's a really great touch. And you can serve it however you want, either on individual plates, or you can stick a toothpick in the middle so it make it easy for your guests to grab as you serve them at your party. So yeah, definitely give this a try. It is absolutely delicious. Next up is an amazing cherry tomato bruschetta. I'm going to use one baguette, you can get them from any grocery store, two cups of cherry tomatoes sliced, one tablespoon of chopped garlic and 46 fresh basil leaves sliced, sea salt and black pepper, also some olive oil and two cups of balsamic vinegar. Now you can use whatever tomatoes that you like. Me personally, I highly suggest and really recommend cherry tomatoes or even heirloom tomatoes. I just find them so much better. They taste better and they're really sweet, especially when you roast them even better. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and slice my cherry tomatoes. Now I'm ready to roll up and begin slicing my fresh basil leaves. So now I'm done and now I'm ready to start combining everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and begin adding in about two to three tablespoons of some good olive oil. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and begin adding in the chopped garlic. It's so good for you. I love garlic. Now in goes the basil leaves. and This is not an exact science. You can add as much as you like. And of course I'm going to season it real good with some sea salt and some black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and grab a spoon and begin mixing everything together. And that looks amazing. You can eat it as is just like that as a tomato salad. So I'm going to go ahead and begin slicing into my baguette and I'm going to slice it at an angle. I'm going to brush each slice with some olive oil and this is what's going to help your bread to become golden brown when you grill it or when you toast it. Now my bread is ready to go and I'm going to walk over to my nice hot grill. And I'm just going to put each slice on the grill and let them sit there for about 2-5 to five minutes. It just all depends on how hot your grill is but keep checking them so you don't burn them. Yeah, just like that. That looks perfect. So I'm just going to take them off the grill and I'm just going to set them to the side. So the bread is already toasted and now I'm going to get ready and reduce the balsamic vinegar. So I'm going to add two cups of vinegar to a saucepan. I'm going to bring it up to a boil and just begin stirring it. You want to continue to stir it because you don't want it to burn at the bottom. And once it's ready, it's going to have a, like a little syrupy consistency just like that. And so once you see that, then you're all done. And we're done. And again, you can plate however you like. As you put the tomatoes on top of the bread, I would even suggest just wait a couple of minutes and just allow the juice from the tomatoes and the olive oil to really soak into the bread. It would be even better. And don't forget to drizzle the reduced balsamic vinegar on top. It takes this appetizer to a whole other level. And that's it you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share it with everybody you know. And if you give these easy delicious appetizers a try this summer, let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel by clicking that box you see right there. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see right there. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.